Uh, even as we speak, and from what we are reading and hearing on international media, it is not clear who made the request for the Kenyan government to send uh, police officers to Haiti. We don't know that it is the U.S. government. We don't know that it is the Haiti government. We don't know whether it is the U.N. Even though later on the U.N. passed a resolution at the Security Council, but that was a very general resolution. It did not specify that Kenya was even to lead that, that mission. I was very keen. That Security Council resolution did not name Kenya as the leader of that mission. That very dangerous mission. So it behoves, even as we wait for the CS to come here next week to explain, we must express ourselves as a house that this is an extremely danger, dangerous adventure. Extremely dangerous adventure, which is ill-thought, which is reckless, and which is, I would say, very careless. It is extremely careless of whoever has conceived of this very, very ill-conceived notion. Madam Speaker, I conclude. I conclude that even as the CS comes, let the House register its feelings. And there's no point of, of trying to say, no, 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 no. Just wait. You will talk. Honorable Pukose. Yes. As far as I know, you have got no expertise on Haiti. <laughs> matters. Just relax and deal with the health issues. Yeah. Um, Madam Speaker, I'm speaking from a point of authority and knowledge. Yes. We cannot use our children as guinea pigs on an international arena. Our children cannot be used as guinea pigs on an international arena. Why can the U.S. send its policemen to Haiti, which is next door? Haiti is just next door. They can even go by boat. Thank you, Minority Leader, Honorable Member for Endebes. Madam Speaker, I want to make a comment on the statement by the Honorable Anthony Lodge on Kenya taking its soldier, its police officers to Haiti. And I want to dissociate myself from the comments made by the minority leader with all due respect. That uh, Kenya has been known to participate in, the, in international peace keeping missions. Whether in Somali, whether in uh, Namibia, whether in uh, Darfur, and many other places. So, Honorable Speaker, because of the distinguished service of our servicemen, whether in the military, lately in Congo, EDRC Congo, in Goma area, or even our police officers, I think it is not in good faith to condemn an action, a noble action which our police officers are going to carry out in, the, in Haiti. And uh, the UN, when they discussed and made resolutions, it was actually unanimously passed to support Kenya's mission of 1,000. I know there was abstaining by China and Russia. I'm well informed about that. Uh, but it was unanimous because abstaining does not mean opposition. And therefore, I think we should be able to respect the decision of the government and give all the support necessary to our police officers to carry out peaceful missions in their new mandate, which is under the UN in Haiti. With those few remarks on, Madam Speaker, I want to support the decision by our police officers. And Honorable Junet. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, this is one of the most dangerous missions that the government of the Republic of Kenya has ever sent outside this country, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, numbers don't lie. The statistics are very clear. In the last nine months, 2,400 people were killed in Haiti by gangs. 900 women were raped. 900 people were maimed. The statistics are there in black and white, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, this is a country that has killed, I don't know, three or four presidents of theirs. Four. And you're sending here people who normally carry, you know, these jembe rungus to just beat us as me or people in the street here, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, you, you think it is a business of jembe rungus in town here, there? 
Madam Speaker, this is a serious matter, and I want to thank, I want to thank Honorable uh, Oluwatch for bringing it. Madam Speaker, this is a matter that requires deep thoughts, Madam Speaker. Look, as a neighbor, we are dealing with insurgents from Somalia on Al Shabaab, and every day we are having casualties. The shores of Florida is just two hours from Haiti, Madam Speaker, by boat. Two hours only by boat to Florida. Why are you not helping those people? Why do you want to send Kenyans there, Madam Speaker? This one, I strongly oppose, Madam Speaker. And this matter should be brought to Parliament first for debate and ratification before any police officer leaves this country. Yes. Your time is up, Honorable Junette. I will indulge the majority.